What's up, my Aries? How are you guys doing today? I hope everything is going well with you. Okay, the song that I heard before I started um, getting ready to record was Playtime Over is the Big League Goat. Playtime Over is the Big League Goat. Okay, I think that's by Key Glock. Okay, I'm not sure, but it's a rap artist. It's Cleanse the Energy. Okay, love and light, clarity and abundance. Love and light, clarity and abundance. Love and light, clarity and abundance. All right, clear that energy from the last reading because that was heavy. <sighs> but y'all done playing with somebody, y'all over it. Y'all like, hey, play time over. It's the big league. Go. Oh. All right, let's get into this energy. Okay, so this reading will be for all of my Aries. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the family. I hope you enjoy. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, and the notification so that you can get alerted when I have new readings. All right. Um, also, please make sure to like, share um, my video so that my channel can continue to grow and be prosperous. I would greatly appreciate it. If you'd like to have a reading, okay, I am taking personal readings. Okay, they are available for the rest of this week and i'm not taking no readings this weekend but the rest of this week and um next week okay so purchase those they are one hour long they are video chatting okay so you'll be on google meet for one-on-one -on -one time all right it's almost like a therapy session okay so if you're interested go ahead and purchase okay they are 55 dollars and it is recorded and sent to you and you will have it for however long you need it okay Spirit guys, give me clear, precise, and precise messages for my Aries who have Aries in their charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me clear messages. What? Huh? Give me one second, y'all. It's acting like what? Give me one second, guys. You gonna have to wait. Go watch TV. Go watch TV. Y'all see the screen? Oh, where the fuck this bug come from? Hold on, y'all. Y'all know me. Y'all know I don't like bugs. Okay, somebody could be um. I don't know if I got it. It's probably on the floor somewhere. But somebody could be um in this energy of lurking, okay? One second. Somebody could be in this energy of lurking on you, okay? Normally when I see any form of blood, bugs or something, okay? Somebody could be um, spiritually monitoring, monitoring you. All right, let's see. What's the tea for my airy spirit? Clear, concise, and precise messages. Protect me while I'm in the energy. Okay. For any negative energy, evil eyes, dark magic, black magic, back to the sender. Anything that is not of your purest high white light, please send it back. Thank you. Thank you, spirit, for these messages. I do not want to have to get this little girl a new tablet because she's not going to be on mine. Yeah, y'all are uninterested in something, okay? That's that playtime over the big lead energy, all right? What's the T for my Aries? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, so you could be dealing with an earth sign, or you have an earth sign in your chart. That's why it's acting like that. That's why I was acting like that. She got too much crap on there. She need to delete some stuff. All right. So you guys could need to go through your phone, okay, and four three four on the chart and delete people who do you don't talk to no more. Do a cleansing. Do a spiritual cleansing and do a cleansing 
in your life. If you're not talking to certain people no more, exes, people you used to date, sleep with, whatever the case is, delete those numbers, get rid of them because it's taking up space and it's not allowing you to recharge. It's not allowing you to get your power. You've extended yourself too much and now it's like it's creating a blockage with you opening up or being able to receive, okay? So yeah, somebody is researching you, looking you up, trying to get info on you. Somebody could be studying you by watching your um, social medias, okay? Yeah, somebody's definitely, baby, somebody's looking you up on fake accounts, okay? They're watching you. Somebody's watching you heavily. And if you have them blocked, they're using fake accounts here, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They're using it to spy an impersonator. So somebody got a third party or somebody that wants to be you is watching you. It's like they want to have what you have, but they're getting blocked. They're getting rejected. Okay, and there's probably this is probably happening because you're moving in silence. They can't see what's going on with you because you're blo blocking them. Whatever somebody's doing is played out. <sighs> These karmics, their time is up. Their time is up. up and that's that's just that their time is up okay spirit guys give me some messages went for my uh my aries sun and rising and venus signs give me some messages for this energy here why are we talking about this energy today it's like somebody is copying everything that you do everything the way you dress the way you style your hair the way you advocate something it's like they taking on your whole personality and it's like no matter what they do to be like you act like you they're getting rejected they're getting rejected it's not working because you're a boss what about looking you up yeah somebody's like that's two cards Somebody's grieving the loss of you, Aries. The Emperor energy here, Aries energy. Somebody is watching you, spying on you, and they're grieving this loss of you. What about the Three of Cups here? I mean, sorry. Somebody is watching you celebrate with the Three of Cups. They want to reconcile with you. Okay, this could be a group of people. There's three cups laying on the ground. Okay, there could be a, three people that are mourning the loss of you. What about the five of cups here? Yes, somebody is like, something's at a stalemate. You could be in this energy of grieving. Um, You could be talking to your spirit guys. I was going to say spirits. Your spirit guys could be grieving. Okay, because you're in this energy of staying stuck or grieving somebody here. All right, you could be grieving somebody that you really care for, and it's causing some type of stagnation, right? And it's you're about to gain some type of clarity, or there's a need for you to be happy, come out of this negative and sad energy, and come into a higher vibration. Yeah, and get back into go mode. They, they say, Place time over, it's, the, it's time for the big leagues. All right, it's, this is not, it's play time over. Okay, let me put that as y'all thing. Give me one second. Now I'm doing y'all. Okay. What about this two of swords? There could be somebody that's grieving you who is blocked at this time from coming towards you. All right. They want to bring in some type of cup or they want to take you on a date. Okay, but you're in this energy of like feeling victimized, feeling sad. Okay, you are you feel like you've just been through a lot when it comes to love. What about the Knight of Cups here? Page of Wands. Somebody's coming towards you with bad news or you receive some bad news that something is not working out with a Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, there's been some type of betrayal in a marriage. Or in a union or something that you thought that was traditional. For some of you guys, it could be an ending to 
a belief system that you had with someone, okay? What about the um, page of wands in reverse? Why is the page of wands in reverse? Yeah, there's some bad news coming towards you. What about the Knight of Wands? And you may need to feel like you needed to stand, stand your ground with somebody. My heart hurts. Something is really breaking your heart. Because now I'm hearing, you're breaking my heart. Okay, something is breaking your heart. Somebody is like stuck in grief. They're very indecisive when it comes to coming towards somebody or giving somebody some type of news here. Somebody could be wanting to date you, but it's like it's delayed because you're in this wishy-washy energy or somebody is here. Yeah, this could be new love. What about the emperor? Why is the emperor here? Two of Cups. What about the Emperor and the Two of Cups? The Death card. Yeah. So for some of y'all, there is an ending to a relationship with somebody. There's been a change in a, in a relationship, partnership, friend. Yeah, y'all are hurt. My heart hurts. I told y'all, I just saw the Three of Swords. My heart hurts. You are Y'all are grieving somebody that you possibly really cared about. Something is being blocked here. It's like, y'all hurt. Either y'all are hurt or this person is hurt about you. One of the two. There's been some type of ending, some type of death here. There's been a change. Scorpio energy. What about the death card? There, yeah. And it's like, I feel like you're trying to heal or there's a need for you to heal and be patient. Okay, you could experience a death in your family. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, because I did see the Ten of Pentacles. Could have been a father figure, mother figure for some of you guys out there. But somebody close to you who you had a relationship with doesn't have to be lovers, okay? It could be a family member, friend. It's like it's really hurting you. You're in a lot of grief right now, okay, for some of you. Somebody is watching you or getting information on you at this time. I feel like for some of you, somebody could be stuck and wanting to come towards you, but it's delayed or they're getting bad news here. Mm. What about this fake account? Somebody is hurting. Nine of Wands to the... I'm sorry, Nine of Wands. You learned the lesson, okay? Or you just been feeling like you just all your life you had to fight you just been fighting and you're trying not to give up okay you're trying to constantly move forward but you're learning spiritual lessons this is to help you grow okay Dude, excuse me y'all could be tired with the seven with the ugh, seven of cups y'all are like there's a lot going on in your head you could be experienced a lot of confusion a lot of things are could be very elusive okay you could be overworking yourself and you're not seeing things clear all right or somebody is but with the nine of cups here which is actually here and the eight of wands here it's like there's some type of dream or wish fulfillment that's coming towards you because you've been putting in the work you've been putting in the work what about this um I feel like you're putting in the work to put something to a final end. Like, you're at your final destination with something. What about the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Ten of Wands. I feel like when it comes to your dreams and your wishes and what you want and what makes you happy, I feel like you're you're heavy on determined. Like, you're very determined. It's like... You're struggling a little bit, okay? Everything feels heavy. It's weighing on you, but it's like you're determined to get to these dreams. You're determined to reach your happiness, your full potential. What about the Ten of Cups? Um, not the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands. I said y'all at the final hurdle. Yeah. Empress. Somebody sees 
you, okay, or this other person, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all want a fresh start with somebody here that y'all really have deep feelings for, Ace of Cups to the Ace of Wands. Y'all have a lot of love and passion for somebody, this Empress, because now we have the Emperor and Empress. So that's like giving divine counterpart twin flame energy. It's like you're determined to get this wish fulfillment. I feel like y'all been dealing with a lot of fakes out here, fakes and phonies. But you're determined to have this wish fulfillment. And you're trying to stay, stay strong to have a new beginning with someone that you could be separated from at this time. Some of y'all are separated from this uh, divine feminine here. What about this Empress? Sagittarius energy. Y'all are determined. Y'all see somebody as the one. Y'all see somebody as your wish fulfillment. Okay. Okay. Y'all see somebody as wish fulfillment. And you're, you know, you feel very burdened with the Ten of Wands. Or you're just in this energy of like determined. Like even though things seem very heavy on you, you're determined to move forward and get this victory. This Empress could be on social media, okay? You could be watching somebody on social media here. Y'all want this person. This is somebody who could have walked away from you, okay? Or you walked away from this person, Eight of Cups energy, and it happened unexpectedly. But it was for a lesson. It was for a reason, okay? What about this Eight of Wands? What is this Eight of Wands? Something is coming in quickly with the Knight of Swords. What about the Knight of Swords? Something is going to start moving fast. Something that was once moving slow or delayed here. It's going to start moving. Some of y'all may want to talk to somebody or somebody wants to talk to you. What about the Six of Swords? It's like somebody's determined. It's very ambitious. Like going, they, they going after this. Let me see. I just want to see something real quick. Yeah, somebody's determined. Somebody is determined to move something into common waters. Move something into a, a better position. What about the Six of Swords here? I feel like somebody's trying to make the choice to come in and give some type of clarity to the tuck. This could be somebody you had a past life connection with or a past uh, connection with. I feel like... Hold on, let me see. Seven of Cups. Give me some more on the Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody here is determined to move something, something into calmer waters, but they could be confused on if it's going to lead to something long-term, stable. Yeah, because you may feel like or this person feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. There's a lot of confusion, okay? You could be unsure if you're ready for commitments. Who is this King of Pentacles? Give me more on this King of Pentacles energy. Taurus. Somebody could be entertaining a lot of options here. And somebody knows that they have to fight. They have to fight for this. What about the five of wands? What about the six of pentacles and the five of wands? I feel like somebody's walking away from the competition. Whoever has been entertaining a lot of people, okay, it's in in dealing with a lot of drama, a lot of people fighting over them. Somebody's walking away from it. 
because they know what they, they it's like I'm hearing Donnell Jones, okay, where I wanna be. I'm hearing I don't mean to hurt you, baby. Okay. Say when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh how I feel so sad now that I wanna leave. She's crying a heart to me. Okay, yeah, somebody's like, you could have cried your heart out or somebody cried their heart out to you. And I feel like this person moved on. I feel like somebody was somebody's wish fulfillment and somebody put too much pressure on an empress. Okay, and now this person is moving on. Now this person has, this empress has moved on. Somebody has been doing some healing work, this emperor. Somebody walked away from somebody and now they're watching. This could be you or somebody else. I don't know. Okay, somebody self-sabotaged or there's just, somebody could be locked up spiritually or physically. Okay, they're learning a lesson. Somebody is like in spiritual lockup, okay, spiritual jail or in physical jail. They're having a lot to think about. They're learning a lesson here. And it's faded for somebody to come back. It's faded for somebody to come back. Who is this impersonator? What is this? For some of y'all, this impersonator can mean a twin. Okay. Who is this impersonator? What about it? Yeah, there's somebody who's been trying to act like you or act like somebody that you care about here. And you're doing a lot of introspection or you're ghosting this person because... You're not interested, okay? You're manifesting an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who there's still like a connection, who you still who you still feel bounded to or somebody still feels bounded to you, all right? This person could have took a risk in a different direction because they accepted something here. Somebody accepted something. Somebody wanted could have wanted marriage here. And somebody else went in the, I'm getting somebody wanted something and then this masculine went in another direction. Okay. And something didn't work out there. And now they're stressed. Okay. Now they're wanting to have a, something consistent. They want to have what somebody, what you wanted. 22, 22. If this making sense, please like, <laughs> like and share. Okay. The, it's like this full moon got the energy wild. Okay. The, this full moon in Scorpio has the energy in a sense of like trying to figure things out there's a lot of confusion so there's a need to ground yourself all right so you could be one of the signs that's being triggered by it as well as uh sagittarius okay because yesterday the energy was flowing was good um but when it comes to the fire signs i feel like y'all are having a hard time during this um ending of retrograde which is today going into tomorrow um and this full moon it's, it's a lot it's a lot happening all right. I feel like you guys are doing a lot of introspection on somebody. Y'all not happy with something. What about the hermit energy, Virgo energy? What about the hermit energy with this impersonator? Yeah, y'all see the truth about something or y'all seeing the truth about something with the ace of swords that something is toxic with the devil card. You could be seeing doing a lot of introspection and seeing that your actions were very toxic here. Or there was some type of toxic uh connection or commitment that you guys feel like y'all had to have with family somebody's intuition is telling them to make a choice to choose love here what about the devil Yeah, so I feel like somebody is seeing the truth about their toxic ways and they're moving over. They're moving, they're getting over this. They're moving away. They're moving away from it with the chariot energy because they want to head towards a union, four of wands. They want to rebuild something. They want happiness. They want love. They want life. They want a marriage. It's like somebody is ready. Somebody is ready. And they could be traveling towards you or you're traveling towards them, okay? But this could be very confusing. You could still be like feeling. Somebody could still be learning some lessons. Still be in this energy of self-sabotaging a little bit. But I feel like somebody's in this energy of doing a lot of introspection. 
All right. This could be, again, this could be your twin. Somebody definitely has been watching y'all on fake accounts, studying you, trying to see what to do. Okay. It's, but I feel like somebody's getting rejected. I don't know. It's like somebody, somebody, something may have been too late. I don't know. What about this four of cups? Somebody may have took their time, took a little too much time. This King of Wands, yeah. Okay, you you could be the one who I'm talking to who's feeling very discontent here. But somebody go, got ghosted or went into this energy of doing some self-introspection and they during this time, they got some type of clarity about their own toxic ways or got some clarity that a relationship was toxic here and now they're moving away from it. From it. They're moving on. They're overcoming this talk, this toxicity this toxic relationship these toxic connections they're moving away from it chariot energy cancer energy and this is making a uh, aries leo sagittarius very discontent okay somebody's feeling discontent feeling like they missed out on an opportunity on a, the love that they manifested gemini energy they want to somebody wants to reconcile with their counterpart with somebody that they see as their twin because we have the king of pentacles here here's the queen of pentacles they want to celebrate they want to invest but this queen of pentacles is going to have their guards up they're thinking more logically now okay because somebody played with them they're not dealing with that again somebody's setting up boundaries all right so yeah what about this with the magician and the lovers the queen of wands i cannot make it up Somebody is in love with their twin and they want happiness. They want, they're watching them. They're watching and spying and watching this person be happy. They're wanting to take action to give to this person, express their feelings to this person. I feel like somebody is finally seeing their feelings or choosing, wanting to choose love. Like somebody is done waiting. They're done waiting. They're done they're done. They want the star. They want to put in the work to make things right. Somebody's coming up with some type of plan here. Why well, is rejected here, though? King of Cups. Why well, is rejected here with the King of Cups? Nine of Pentacles. Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands energy? <clears throat> Somebody feels like they lost out on their twin, on their counterpart, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody feel like they took an L. This could have been somebody that she was married to. They feel like they lost, they could have lost a job or they feel like they lost their family. But they're holding on to you or you're holding on to this person but there's been some type of change somebody could have been hiding that they were juggling a third party in a marriage here they were reckless here and the truth could have came out somebody could be getting a divorce for some take this how it resonates and somebody is like hurt they're sad because i'm feeling like somebody feeling like this is their best friend there could be a king of cups here. Somebody trying to control their emotions and they're just being single. Who is this king of cups who rejected Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy? Somebody's trying to have the strength here. What about the strength card, Leo energy? Somebody's trying to have the strength here and have the courage to do what they need to do to leave something out in the cold, to let something go. Somebody really loved this woman, okay? Or there could be a woman in masculine energy who really loved. Yeah, somebody spirit guys is telling them to stay single or something like that. Could be. But somebody's really putting in a lot of work. Or somebody like put in a lot of work and got left out in the cold. Somebody's really trying to put in the work to let something go. And this is it's stressing somebody out. They're having a lot of anxiety here because they gave to somebody. I feel like somebody gave they last. And 
they lost. They took a loss. And now they're trying to look at something in a better way. What about the Eight of Pentacles here? Somebody put is trying to have the courage and the strength to put in some type of work to invest in the Queen of Cups. But they're confused here. They're trying to take a moment to heal. They, they, somebody's trying to take a moment to, like, work on themselves before coming in towards somebody or something like that. Somebody is blocked. Somebody could be blocked from coming to you or you're blocked from going to somebody else. What about the Seven of Pentacles? Somebody's putting in a lot of work for investment. Yes, because they want to give to somebody. I'm telling you, something didn't work somewhere else and somebody is really trying to get their shit together. Somebody is seeing something about themselves. Somebody is trying to put in the work here so that they can invest. So that they can, the, the seeds have already been planted. Somebody has planted the seeds. Now it's like they, they're ready to see the, 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 the growth of it, okay? They're ready to give, have an equal give and take. They want to make things right because they want the stability. But somebody is scared. Somebody is scared of commitments, okay? Or scared of having something long term. But they're coming. This is somebody who could be at a distance from you. They're coming to reconcile. They have came up with a plan here. Somebody is getting up off that tree. They're getting up off because they want their queen of pentacles. They want this person who they know is loyal. They know is committed. Somebody could have been out here selling a lot of fucking dreams to people and putting people in competition, but somebody don't want to do that no more. This is giving me a player who don't want to be a player no more. Okay. What about the uh, Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, King of Swords. What about the Nine of Pentacles the King of Swords? Somebody is spending some time to themselves. Okay. They're in, they're in this energy of thinking logically. Somebody is finally taking accountability, but they're moving slow. Okay, they're coming slow with an offer, but this is going to be, it's going to bring about a sudden change. Somebody is holding on to someone because they want to give someone, it looks like something small, but they want to have a new adventure, a new beginning with somebody that's going to lead to commitment. Somebody wants to propose. For some of y'all, somebody wants to marry you and they're coming to reconcile, but they want to take things slow. Or they're moving slow. This is somebody who you could have had history with, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. What about the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, they're coming in. They, they, it's like they're moving slow. They want to build something with their Queen of Swords. Y'all, for some of y'all, this is your twin that's watching you. They're watching you from different, all accounts. They're watching you everywhere. Because they feel like you're the one. This is somebody who could have rejected you. This person is single. They're coming. It's, it's somebody who you possibly have history with. A family with. For some. They want to collaborate with their, their queen of swords. They know that child, which is actually the queen of pentacles, the divine feminine that they're holding on to. This is somebody from your past who's coming up with a plan. They're ending things with third parties. Okay. What about the center cup? Somebody wants the center pentacles. What about the center cups? They're moving slow here towards their happiness. They're moving slow. They want to build something. They want to like take something slow and work their way up to this ten of ten of. I keep saying ten of pentacles, but ten of cups here. They're still learning some type of lessons here, but I feel like somebody is in their head. All they do is think about you and how they love you and want a new beginning with you. For some of y'all, this is somebody who turned their back on you and made you wait. What about the nine of wands? Why is the nine of wands here? 
it's like they don't want to give up. Somebody is still. What about the nine of wands with the three of pentacles? They want to heal things. They want to make this right. I'm trying to tell you. They whatever they messed up, they want to fix it. This is somebody who wants to fix it. And this is going to come unexpectedly. You're going to have a choice to make when it comes to this person. Some of y'all may be unsure about if you want to do or take this risk with this person because of everything that they did. So you're going to take a moment to think about what, what you want to do. You're going to hold back from this person. But a lot of y'all, I get that this is a past person. For some of y'all, this was a best friend. Somebody that y'all saw is y'all friend, like, who rejected you. Give me more on this energy spirit. Give me some cards that align with this. Or this is you with this energy. Take it how it resonates. Put the people where they fit. Only you know. Um, this energy has been very hard for y'all. Very heavy. Um, just keep going. Give me some cards, spirit guys, that align with this reading here for Aries, I'm on Rise and Venus signs. I feel like somebody is scared that it's too late. Somebody wants that person. I feel like somebody is realizing who you are. No, I have to delete some stuff. Go sit down. Yeah, for some of y'all, this was a karmic connection. Or a karmic twin. And this is the reason why I feel like... Close my door, please. This is the reason why I feel like y'all... You, you can only have five. Yeah, this is... And the fact that I said this five, that's like a loss. That's some type of change, okay? This is somebody who... There was a lot of turbulence. This this relationship was unsustainable. Okay, this 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 was like this was prickly. This this did a lot of hurt. Okay, it could have did a lot of damage to your heart. This for some of y'all, this was a fake twin. And somebody's having a hard time letting it go. Because the connection is still strong here. And this is why y'all probably going to have to think about if you're going to move forward with this person. This was a karmic connection for some. It looked like a twin flame, but it really was a karmic connection. Somebody feels like something has been unresolved. It's like they want to make it right. And honestly, I feel like even if y'all don't come together, they just want to be, they just want to make it right. They want to make it right. Or this is you. Okay. What about this? Give me more. But my Aries. Give me messages that align with this reading. Yeah. Somebody was very wishy-washy. Inconsistent. Okay. And that's why you felt like you had to stand your ground. Okay. Or this person felt like that. Because there was a lack of clarity. A lack of understanding. All right. And it's like it wasn't abundant. Something was not abundant. I see it here. Somebody is very discontent. They manifested a love. They manifested this contract with somebody that matched their energy, but it wasn't abundant. It wasn't. And now it's over. So it ended. Finality. It ended. And somebody cut out, cut it out. And they took a risk here. I feel like somebody took a risk with somebody or you took a risk with this person and you just ended up repeating the cycle. Mm. Give me more. Yeah, this was a painful love experience. But something is brewing here because somebody is depressed and regret because of their choices that they made of ghosting you. Okay, and love bombing you. For some of y'all, this is a love, a, a ladies man or or 
no vice versa 39 39 on the timer but it was unrequited something was unrequited and i feel like you just couldn't see it or this person couldn't yeah it was a lot of spell work it's like y'all were blinded by love okay and now somebody's trying to clean up their broken promises they're trying to clean up their acts because like i said they could be in mental jail like spiritual jail or jail for real and they're waiting to be free but they feel trapped here somebody is wanting to call you wanting to communicate something to you give me some more cards that align with this reading spirit yeah people could be talking about you or they heard some type of rumors about you and it, it the whatever they heard it was like it kind of made it hard to see if something was gonna grow it's like something got blocked and people were somebody was hiding secrets okay what else yeah I feel like somebody, this this feminine, okay, could have left somebody out in the cold or you left somebody out in the cold here and went to the words new love. Somebody got rejected or somebody felt rejected and because they felt rejected, they went to somebody else. And this was shocking. This was a surprise to somebody. What else? Yeah, this this connection was full of a lot, a lot of passion. Okay, somebody is craving you, craving the need to heal you, or craving the need to heal from this. Okay, they want to move forward because they know that they took you for granted here. They know that they were immature when it came to you. They were intimidated by your beauty. Somebody felt like that they didn't have enough to offer you, or this is how you feel. Yeah, something is brewing. So they, it's like somebody's working on something. I feel like this, this, whoever this player was, okay, that was hiding the fact that they were a player, they're, they're wanting to heal an addiction. They're trying to work on themselves. They're trying to heal. Somebody is like about to explode. Somebody could want you very sexually and they're, they're ready to explode, but they're waiting here. They're waiting on whatever blockages whatever stopping them from coming in to be removed yeah they want to date you somebody wants to start over but i feel like they're paralyzed by love they're they're holding back but hoping to renew something they still could be in a toxic connection or still be dealing with some addictions what about dating yeah somebody wants feels like you guys mirror each other I feel like, again, I told y'all, y'all do. Okay, somebody is like, they want to heal this. Somebody is choosing you because they feel like they know the path, but I feel like you're going to be unsure or this person's going to be unsure. Yeah, somebody is changing. They're, they're transforming. Okay, something could have been bad timing and they're waiting for the right time. You, you both could feel like the timing that you guys met each other or came into union with each other was wrong. And you might both come to a compromise that something is done because somebody was a habitual liar. Somebody was constantly lying. Somebody could have lied and said they was on vacation or lied about a vacation here. Somebody lied about something. Or they were lying about something being a break. Who knows? Yeah, I feel like you guys, some of y'all have closed your heart off to this person or th this person who is in your energy, they closed their heart off to you. Yeah, I told y'all, I feel like somebody don't want to be a player no more. They were a player in the past, but I feel like they don't want that no more. What about player in reverse and memories? Yeah, I feel like they they see you looking good. You're working on your body. You're doing your fitness. You're getting into yourself, okay? They see you focused on your their self, and they're getting proof. And it's like they're getting proof that you're focusing on you. Or you're getting this proof and it's causing them mixed emotions on if 
y'all can have a new beginning and if something will lead to marriage and, and if there could be a reconciliation what about revenge body and proof it's like somebody's also wanting to like show you proof that they're changing that they're working on themselves but somebody did a lot of back and forth energy they like and it wasn't abundant and it made you feel foolish you don't you don't feel supported by this person you don't feel like something is built on stable on a stable con uh, situation and i feel like you're being protected here somebody don't want to hurt you but there's a divorce there's an ending happening and somebody could be fighting because they want to reconcile they don't want it to end I feel like somebody don't feel safe no more. Yeah, somebody's cleaning up. Somebody is, is cutting out negativity. And I feel like they're removing anything toxic. Somebody is going to call you. And somebody's getting communication that something was not real or something was fake. And now somebody's setting up boundaries with somebody and cutting them out. Somebody is trying to clean up their life here so that they can propose, so that they can make a commitment, so they can have bring in a love offer. I told y'all, somebody wants to make a love offer to you. They want to get you pregnant. They want to have something new with you. They want to apologize. They want to apologize for some for stringing you along. They want to communicate that they see something, all right, and they want to apologize to you. They can't get over you. And for some of y'all, they can't get over on you. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like y'all feel like somebody wore a mask here. Somebody had bad intentions. So there's a need for you to see what you need to see, all right? And sacrifice whatever you need to sacrifice here because you know the path that you're supposed to be on. What about bad intentions? Y'all both could have been wearing a mask here, and now you you both could be changing. Yeah, somebody had bad intentions here. Somebody was lying and creating drama, okay? What about bad intentions and fights? Yeah, because somebody was jealous. Somebody could have had a karmic here that they were dealing with, and somebody started a whole bunch of drama because they were jealous and scared of losing somebody because they felt like home. Okay, somebody could have been wearing a mask. So them putting you in drama, you them putting you in competition or just doing stupid shit was a way to keep you jealous. It was like a toxic way of seeing if you cared or because they were scared of losing you. Somebody fights with you to... Is there a way of showing affection or something like that? Because you feel like home to them. Yeah, but they're hoping to renew something here. They're hoping to heal something, but somebody's angry here. What about angry? Who's angry? They're hoping to renew something here, but somebody is not a twin flame. There could be a third party that was involved here. Somebody could have had a back and forth, on again, off again, karmic connection with somebody that wasn't abundant and it's done. It's like somebody's hoping to renew things with you, but they're angry because something is over. I don't know, y'all. This is wild. You and this person could have both been wearing a mask in this situation or somebody here was mirroring somebody and they're, it was creating a lot of drama because somebody was jealous. Somebody could have moved because they're hoping to make things right with you and this is causing somebody to be angry. A third party because somebody was delusional here. What about twin flame in reverse? 
I feel like some of y'all feel like this person doesn't align with you anymore. Or this is how they feel. <clears throat> Cause twin flame kind of reverse. What about resentment and twin flame in reverse? Why is that here for Aries? Yeah, because something was fake. Something wasn't real. Somebody knows you. I feel like you know that something is fake, and you know where you're supposed to go, and that's towards a divorce. Rec somebody wants to reconcile, but you're unsure about that, and that's putting somebody in their feelings. It's putting somebody in their feelings because now they see you as their happiness. Now they see you as somebody that they want. Yeah, now they see you as true love. And they felt like they, they took too long. They was out here having sex and, and breaking hearts. And, you know, they feel like they were cursed with a karmic or cursed with things. And now they single. They single. They, they want a friendship with you. But they know they broke a lot of promises. Something was very much so unrequited. But somebody is now seeing you as the love of their life. I'm feeling like the one that got away. Yeah. They want to love bomb you. Give you an offer, an apology. They want to protect you, but they're secretly stalking you while in separation. They see you in the spotlight. You guys could be in the spotlight with somebody new here. And they're they're aggravated, okay? They want to make it up to you because they haven't experienced any type of love like yours. They've been paralyzed by your love. And they've, they've been stuck in depression. They're trying to work on themselves, okay? They could have been immature. And imitate, somebody trying to, tries to imitate you. Your image, 5115. They try to duplicate your image, but they can't. They can't. So that's what I have for y'all. I hope this resonates with you. Try to just keep going with the flow with this energy. I know it's very hard. It's very confusing. Just ground your energy. Cleanse your energy at this time. Because the, the, if it's hitting y'all fire signs hard. If this resonated, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.